Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution ranking video, except for this one is not going to be of herbivores, no no no, you've waited enough. It's time for us to do the Jurassic World Evolution carnivores, such as this T-Rex here, or Carno. Oh god, sorry I slipped past him. And yeah, that's right, we are doing the carnivore ranking, which same rules will be applying- Oh jeez, watch out for Bull T-Rex here, he's gonna run us over. Same rules apply. The ranking of these carnivores will be based on how much I use them, how unique they are, and also how unique their animations are. So like their combat and all of that stuff. All of those will be playing a role in their ranking. And be warned, there's gonna be some surprises. Oops, excuse me, Nasutoceratops, you're blocking the female raptor. But I think we should begin with number 10. Oh yeah, guys, I also forgot we need to do some honorable mentions. And I have three here. Which, the first of them, as you can see, is the Sukumimus with the beautiful jungle skin. Now, the only reason this guy isn't higher is because I just got this um, DLC, like, a few months ago, so it's relatively new for me. But he is so cool looking, and the fact that he looks kind of more paleo-accurate than the rest of the dinosaurs, like with the proper snout, and the hands aren't too pronated, like... They are a little bit, but not as much. And also you can see another honorable mention coming to take a snack. But he's a perfect Spinosaurus, right in the middle between um, Spinosaurus and, of course, our other honorable mention, the Baryonyx, who, the only reason he's not in here is because he's not too unique, unfortunately. Like, I do love the Baryonyx, he has some cool sounds and stuff, but unfortunately he just doesn't have that many unique skins and that I can use. Like, my favorite is the basic one. I wish we had more, um, dynamic skins. They all look very similar, but he's still a cool dinosaur, which is why he's an honorable mention. And there's, there's the final honorable mention, the Allosaurus, which, if you recall in the last ranking video where I discussed, oh, poor Nigosaurus, he is bolting. He's like, I am not staying here, even though the power is foolishly coming to approach. Is he gonna turn around? Nope, he's not. He's got backup. He's got an Aranosaurus and Stego. Oh, hold on, Allo. I'm trying to talk about you. So, Allosaurus, the reason he's an honorable mention and not on the list is because, unfortunately, it's two things. Oh, God, he's... Oh, smacked in the face. He's dead instantly. But the reason he's not... Can you stay still? I'm trying to talk about you. The reason he is not on the list of top ten and is only an honorable mention is two things. One, we unfortunately do not have the Battle at Big Rock skin. Yes, I know. A skin is preventing him. How dare I? But a skin for a dino can really display what it is. That's why Baryonyx isn't on the list. He would be if he had more unique skins. But Allo, the other reason which I think a lot of people dislike about the Allo is that he can only handle one of his species. I know, a pack animal that would work together to take down sauropods like those Brachiosaurus over there who are have no idea what's lurking over here. Yes, this guy can only handle one. And it's also weird that he's stronger than T-Rex. That, that annoys me a little, which might be a little bit of being biased, but still. He's still an awesome dino, and who knows, maybe since he is confirmed for Jurassic World Evolution 2, along with Baryonyx, maybe we'll get the Battle of Big Rock skin for him, as well as this version. And... Maybe, I don't know if you are returning, but let's get into the top 10, starting with number 10 now. Number 10 is the Metricanthosaurus, a interesting dinosaur to actually have in the game, honestly, since little is known- Oh, he just phased through the Suko. Since it's interesting he's in the game at all, because he's- Little is known about him, since I'm pretty sure there isn't even a complete fossil of him at all. I think there's only, like, part of a head and stuff. So it's really interesting to get it, what evolution would show this to be. But it still looks really cool, and my favorite skin of it, as you can see, is the Rainforest, or you could see, but he keeps moving around. But I love his calls, they sound so um, pathetic though, like, they sound kind of like a burp, honestly, like, just burp, burp, facing off against something like a T-Rex, and then you just, T-Rex hears burp, he's like, 
really, this is what I'm facing, but still, an awesome dinosaur, and pretty unique considering all the carnivores, and he stands out, even though I think he's actually one of the smallest, um, medium to large carnivores, I think the only one smaller than him is, um, maybe Majungasaurus, but I don't know about that. At number 9, we have the swift thief of the Velociraptor, the bird of prey. Even though its name kind of contradicts itself, because raptor itself means bird of prey, but it, Velociraptor's name means swift thief. But, oh well, whatever. Um, Velociraptor wouldn't have been on this list if it wasn't for Return to Jurassic Park. Let's just be honest. Yes, we did get the raptor squad, but... All of us know that we weren't too thrilled with it being we had to pay for getting something that was in the supposed to be in the original game, which is why um I'm so glad that we got the Return to Jurassic Park Sims. We got the Tiger Raptors, we got the big one, and well as you can see my favorite, the Tiger one is here. And honestly, the only reason it's not higher is because it's not very unique among the dinosaurs. Like I don't use it as often as I, like, used to when I first got this game on, to be brutally honest. I still love it, though, which is why the Velociraptor is here, as he belongs. Thank God we've got skins like this, instead of, um, whatever those excuses for skins before were. Number eight is the Ceratosaurus, which is a surprising choice for me, honestly. I don't even think he would be on here, except for the level of um, activity he's had in the franchise. Like, we all knew that he was going to be popular, because, like, everybody's been wanting him back since Jurassic Park 3's failed introduction of him with, you know, standing by some poop. But recently, he's been getting a lot more excitement in Camp Cretaceous, and a lot of people saying they want to see him in Dominion. And you know what? I think all that excitement has gotten me to love this beast again. I've, as being the first carnivore that you actually use in this game, oh god, the Brachiosaurus is shaking the camera. Probably because there's an aloe there, but he's not even scared of that. He's probably just hungry for a bush or something. But the Ceratosaurus, he is beautiful. This skin, which is the Savannah one, is my personal favorite. It looks rough, but also, um, it stands out from the crowd. Like, you can instantly tell it's Ceratosaurus. And I love how Gaming Beaver calls this one Bruton, because, yeah, he looks like a brutal foe indeed, even though he's not that strong when it comes to dinosaurs here. But still, an amazing addition to the game, and one that I hope is going to return, oh, geez, one that I hope is going to return for Jurassic World Evolution 2, because, I think a lot of people would agree. Having this be the first dinosaur that you unlock when it comes to carnivores in this game, I think it leaves a good impression on you, which is why he has his respectful place here on the list. The meat-eating bull himself, Carnotaurus, or Coco as we like to call him on the channel, is at number... what was that number? Uh, number seven, sorry, I, I was losing count, I got distracted. Yes, number seven is the Carnotaurus, which is an awesome predator. He's unique, those horns just scream like badass, and I'll, I'll excuse my language, but brutal. Now, my only nitpick with him for the design is actually the arms, because I don't like how they're pronated, because even in the movie, I'm pretty sure they weren't pronated. Like, I'll have to double-check Fallen Kingdom, because... Oh, Jesus. That explains why it was so loud. Oh, my ear. 
Baryonyx, Carno, you gotta quiet down. You're gonna break old Papa's ears. But yeah, Carnotaurus is awesome. I, I love the design. He was an awesome addition to Fallen Kingdom. And I think everybody wants to see him return in Jurassic World Dominion. Hopefully with some camouflaging abilities, which... I thought actually when Secrets of Doctor Wu was coming out and I knew Indominus was going to get the camo ability, I would have loved if this also included the Carno because it would have been a nice reference to the Lost World novel where the whole camouflage aspect of dinosaurs came from. Even though, yes, it's been used in the first novel as well, but most people remember this beast using it to its cunning advantage. And hopefully, I'm pretty sure you will be returning for Jurassic World um, Evolution 2, I'm pretty sure you would be. I don't know why you wouldn't, unless you, um, I don't know, are hated by a lot of people for some reason. Oh god, we're going under a Brachiosaurus. Hopefully, we get more skins with him, and also maybe even the Demon Carnotaurus that appeared briefly in Fallen Kingdom, because it's my personal favorite design of the Carnotaurus for sure, and, well, I hope you guys want to see it too. Number six is the Spinosaurus himself. I know, a little bit of a surprise. I thought I would have put him higher, but I think just because I, d I use him a lot, guys. Don't get me wrong. I think of all the carnivores, I actually use him sometimes, I think, just as much, if not more, than the T-Rex, which is crazy. But the reason why he's a little low is because um I don't think he's as... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I don't think he's as, like unique as the others. I mean, he's unique, don't get me wrong, with the sail like that, he stands out from a crowd, but I think it's just that, um, he doesn't seem like the biggest, um, attractor for dinosaurs. I don't know. That's just me. I love the Spino, don't get me wrong, and it's not because I don't like what they used him for Jurassic Park 3. That's not why he's this low, but I think there's just so many more carnivores there that bring more to the table, but still, Indominus, I mean, not Indominus Rex, well, he's going to be on this list, don't worry about that. But Spinosaurus, you are still one of my favorites for sure. I love your the power you bring, even though I don't agree with you killing a T-Rex, I still think you can take down some tough predators. Maybe even that Baryonyx there. But, who knows, we'll probably see you in Evolution 2. Maybe the same, maybe different, we'll find out, won't we, Spino Boy? At number, uh, what's number is it? Jesus, I'm getting way distracted. At the halfway point, we reach the Albertosaurus, which may be a little bit biased because I live in Alberta, so, you know, gotta respect my, um, dinosaur, even though that's probably the only reason. But I love how the Albertosaurus makes itself unique, especially with the shape of its head and body. As another Tyrannosaurid, it was a nice addition to see him, actually. I was kind of surprised that he even was introduced to the game. I didn't think he would be one that was wanted, but I definitely say he's got a cool design with his nice eyebrows. And also, I like how his an eating animations, fighting animations, are slightly different from the others. Like, with the biting animation for Albertosaurus, it's kind of like a nervous snap. Not like um the carni other carnivores where like they literally lunge their full body and like do a big crunch, he just sort of like does a quick dart, which makes him like a younger predator that's be a little nervous to be out. And especially when he's drinking, he always like does the little laps and then looks around everywhere to make sure. I like how they made him unique, as like he's not like the biggest and he knows it. And it makes him cute. And my favorite skin is, I believe this is the Rainforest, or what skin are you? Yes, Rainforest. Sorry, I, I can't remember all of the names. But, oh, come, come back here. Now leave, 
Leave Montasaurus alone. You can't attack him. Sure, just scare everybody. Good job. Go to sleep. But yeah, Albertosaurus was a nice addition to the game. I don't think know if he'll be returning for Evolution 2, but if he does, I hope he has a similar design to this one, because it makes him stand out. The Dilophosaurus at number four, and with the um, vivid skin being my personal favorite because it really screams poisonous, get out of here. But Dilophosaurus makes it on this list because it's one of my favorite dinosaurs in the IRL. I've always been amazed by the design of it, even though it's not accurate to the f fossil counterpart. But I do wish it would damn, goddamn return into the franchise. Hopefully with Dominion, it will. Like, I mean, it's all but guaranteed. They've been setting up its ultimate return. I think it's going to return. But still, for Dilophosaurus in this game, it's the one small carnivore that I use more than any other. And that's not really saying much because I only have like three in here, including Velociraptor and Deinonychus. But still, he's awesome. He's unique. And the only thing that bugs me about him is that he has the um, spitting animation for his venom, except it doesn't really do anything. Like, I know Troodon, when you get that, it also has a venomous bite that actually affects the dinosaurs. So why doesn't this guy... Oh, oh speaking of a rival, you'll be facing each other soon, I'm pretty sure. But, who knows. I can't wait to see him in Dominion. He'll probably be in Evolution 2, and in this game, he's my favorite small guy. Hopefully we get him as 10 feet tall, though, in the next game, because that would be awesome. The dino that screams massive, the Giganotosaurus, is in the top three. Which, I, I've grown a big love for the Giga. Not just because it's going to make its appearance in Jurassic World Dominion, but I just love the design of this Giga. It screams powerful, even though it's not as powerful as like something like the T-Rex, or as big as the Spino. But it just screams, like, big and powerful. And especially with that roar that it has, oh my god, get out of its way. Because trust me, this Giga, you do not want to mess with it. And with, um, it and Dominion showing the same thing, maybe in Evolution 2, well, it will show up in Evolution 2. It's just a matter of time. It probably won't be in the base game for it, it'll probably be in a Dominion DLC, but either way, it's a beast, and Giga deserves its spot at number three. Now, the only thing that's kind of weird about it is its eyeball, because it's always moving around like, uh, is anybody seeing me or something? Doesn't really help with your intimidation look, especially if you're always wide-eyed like, oh my god, help. Even though, you kind of remind, it kind of reminds me of birds, actually, which you guys are related to. Oi, Spino, relax, calm down, I'm trying to speak to Giga here, who's taking a nap. So, we'll leave him be, as number three is the Beast Giga. And number two is actually a tie between... The Indominus Rex and the Indoraptor. Both of these hybrids are tied for me at number t at number two. I was gonna say number ten, but that's completely wrong. And the reason why is because both are so unique. Like both scream hybrids, but. They both have attributes that I love. Now, first we're going to talk about Indoraptor because we're already on him. Indoraptor 
he screams a hybrid because of the way he's so unnatural. Like, he doesn't look like a dinosaur, to be fair, unlike Indominus Rex, but he still screams, like, just as frightening, if not more. And the shape of his body, the quills on his head and back, and the wit the posture of him, it's awesome. He, he was a big addition for Fallen Kingdom, and I love that he's in this game. Hopefully we do get the hybrids in, because I want to see this guy again. And especially because Indoraptor, truthfully, has more unique animations in this game than any dinosaur. He's got unique animations against, like, Nigosaurus, Homalocephali. He's got his own goat-killing animation. He's, he is unique. He's more unique than even the Indominus Rex in this game. But, still, my only dislike about him is that we don't have an Alpine skin. Because I know a lot of people, myself included, want to have a white version of an Indoraptor. Just like we have a black version of the Indominus Rex in its coastal skin. Who... Low health. Oh, somebody's scared to death. Oh, Jesus, Giga, it's giving me a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, health. They should be scared. Look at this guy. He screams nightmare. But for the Indominus Rex, he has the different advantage over Indoraptor. He is a hybrid, but he still looks like a dinosaur, to be honest. And that's because, probably because he um, is like the successful hybrid. Indoraptor's just a prototype from the design we know. But Indominus Rex, even though he looks unnatural as he's the only dinosaur here that's actually pale and white, and he doesn't really, and he stands out from the crowd. He looks unnatural, yet natural at the same time. That's what I love about Indominus Rex. I've always loved that about him, but for Indoraptor, it plays off that and makes him look completely unnatural, even with the black. And that's why both of them are tied for me, because realistically, they're both my favorite hybrids. If anyone were to say for like, if I were to do a top 10 hybrids, these two would be tied at number one always, because they are such beasts and I hope that at least for Evolution 2, we get them in stuff like Sandbox. They're probably not going to be in the campaign mode for Evolution, but they're probably going to be in the Chaos Theory mode and the Sandbox Challenge mode. It's, it's inevitable, as Thanos would say. But these guys are number two. And number one, the Pierce of Resistance is... You all knew what I was going to pick at number one. It's the T-Rex. And even before the Return to Jurassic Park's um, DLC came out, I actually would have had this guy in the top three for sure. He might have not been in number one. Probably the hybrids would have won that. But the reason why he wins is because it's T-Rex. It's the beast that... It's the first dinosaur I ever saw, which is why he'll always be my favorite in IRL. And also in this game, because he's such an awesome dinosaur. The only thing that I wish... There's two things I wish that they had for him in this game. One is with the Return to Jurassic Park skin. I wish that the um, Challenge Mode skin for Nublar 93, um, for the T-Rex one, I wish it was this one. But instead also had um, the scarves from like the Raptor attack, or even from when Indominus Rex attacked it. Because this is supposed to be Rexy. But she doesn't have her scars. If she did, it would be awesome to have her even more. And my other gripe about her is that um, ever since um, they, people complained that she was too big in the beginning of the game, they shrunk her down and also made her weaker than things like Allosaurus. And also, I'm pretty sure when fully modified, um, she's weaker than both Spino and Giga, which... Is a little unfortunate. She should be the strongest dino in the game, apart from the hybrids. It's what they've had her as originally, but then they um, decided to make her smaller, which smaller was fine, don't get me wrong. I know she was a little bit bigger than she needed to be, but making her weaker than something like Allosaurus, who's like not even half her height in real life, yeah, it's kind of weird. But still, I love the T-Rex, She's a beast, and also, she takes no, um, she takes no 
um, fights from anybody. She is in charge. Except for maybe the Giga. Are they telling us something about their rivalry coming in Dominion? Oh god, his head just, um, snipped through his neck. That's just weird. But guys, that is my top 10 carnivores. What are your guys' top 10? And what other kind of lists would you like to see? I'm thinking about the next one that we do is like my top five favorite um, animations. Oh god, jeez. Oh, poor Stego, run! <clears throat> I think for the next one, I was trying to say, but then I was interrupting. Rexy, you're interrupting me again. Can I please finish? What I was trying to say before I was um, interrupted was um, I would love to do like a top 10 carnivore, top 10 kill animations or fighting animations. Leave in the comments what kind. Oh god, Jesus. I know you're related, but please don't do it. Oh, thank God. Jesus, Rexy and Albert. But, guys, that's going to have to wrap up this ranking. If you've enjoyed it, I'd appreciate the like. And until the next ranking for Evolution, or any kind of ranking, I'll see you. Oh, Jesus. Thumbnail. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.